In this video, I am going to discuss about what are generalized linear mixed models. The generalized linear mixed models are the models uh, used when we assume that there is random effect in our data set. So one of the assumptions is that there should be a random effect. So a random effects are nothing but the subject specific uh, uh, effect on the uh, data set. So if there are uh, couple of subjects, um, say for example there are three products uh, and we are analyzing the customer preference for three products, there could be some of the effect uh, which will be totally dependent on different products, totally random. So there is a difference than the uh, the uh, population average, It's total, the effect is totally different than the population average. So that is uh, known as the uh, random effect and the population average is known as the fixed effect. So the assumption is that there is a presence of uh, a random effect in the data. Um, so this model deals with the correlation and non-constant variability very well. So whenever we have uh, uh, observations which are correlated uh, and the observations are uh, having uh, non-constant variance, then uh, these models are also very useful. Um, we can also use this when uh, the distribution is um, of exponential type. So the data uh, has to be uh, distributed exponentially. So some of the uh, uh, exponential distributions are binary, uh, poison, uh, normal, beta and gamma distributions. Uh, if there is no random effect then uh, it, it's same as the generalized linear model that we have seen in other videos. So if there is absolutely no random effect uh, it's exactly same as generalized linear models. Uh, so where can we use it? Uh, we can use uh, these models where the observations are repeated measurement of the same ex uh, experiment uh, for different subjects. So in that case, uh, since the observations are repeated measurement, so there is a high chances that uh, the observations will be correlated observations. So in this case, we can use generalized linear mixed models. And there is some uh, random effect in the data. So that could be due to the subject specific uh, uh, regions or totally unknown regions. Uh, one of the example that we can give is uh, if you want to analyze the customer preference uh, between product A, B and C. So uh, uh, one of the thing is that uh, we can uh, do an experiment and uh, do uh, and collect data. So that could be uh, co uh, that could be highly correlated data uh, because the same product is being uh, is being uh, used for experimentation purpose uh, for a number of times. So so the data will be correlated, and uh, there will be a random effect as well uh, because there will be subject specific effect. There are three subjects here, three different products. So uh, the customer satisfactions or customer preference could be totally uh, because of some specific characteristics of the products. So that could uh, have some uh, uh, specific effect known as the random effect. So in this kind of uh, an example, we can uh, go in for uh, the generalized linear mixed models. In a separate video, I'll uh, discuss about how to build such a model and I'll take an example and uh, do it.